Hey gang, um, so I thought of some more steps that I could break down for you to learn uh, more slowly than if you just jumped into a class. And um, so let's get going. Um, so last video, we just talked about a basic to start. So just up, up, down, down, right, left, right, left. Okay, another uh, step that you might see, especially in a warm up, is just an up tap, step back, okay? So you're stepping up with your lead, tap with the non-lead, step back, and then again, you're getting right back into that walking rhythm. Up, tap, step, back. Up, tap, step, back. You can also take this corner to corner. Corner up, tap, up, tap. Up, tap, step, back. One, two, three, four, okay? So those are up taps. They can either go corner to corner or they can go right down the center. Okay, you can also have down taps. So with a down tap, your lead foot is going towards one corner and then your down tap is the other um, foot going down the floor. So here's your down tap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So see the difference? Up tap, up tap, or down the center, up tap, up tap, down taps tap down to the floor, okay? These are also sometimes turned into repeaters, so remember three in a row. So we go three, two, one, step back. Three down taps is a repeater, down tap. So step, three, two, one, step back, three, two, one, step back, three, two, one, step back okay show you what a reverse basic looks like so recall your basic step up up down down just like you're walking along and in fact if you don't have a step at home you can do the step just on the floor you can even mark down like a, a kind of a diagonal to work kind of on and over um, anyway so your basic up up down down okay right left right left all your reverse basic is is instead of your toe leading, your heel leads. So right, left, right, left. So you can go to a forward basic, a back basic, a reverse basic, and right back to your um, regular basic, never having to double tap down any of your feet. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I'll show, show you from your side. So. If you are just doing your basic facing this way, up, up, down, down. To make it a reverse, still step with your right foot, but it goes heel first. Heel, heel, floor, floor. Okay? So here's your basic facing front. Same exact foot pattern, but heel, heel, floor, floor. Does that make sense? Um, you're really, you're just going in a circle, but don't even think of it like that. I would just think of it as up, up, down, down, just instead of leading with, you know, your toe, your heels, okay? So whenever in a, in a class, um, if you want um, a progression to make it a little bit more um, fancy or intense, and you hear um, the call of basic, a lot of times people just do a reverse. So it's the same exact feet, okay? So, all right. So there's your reverse basic. Um, let's do it over the top. So um, I've always called it over the top. Some people call it a two step over. Basically you're taking your lead foot. You're kind of standing with your side to the step. You're going over, come towards me, take it back, away. Now this is one you are double tapping down, meaning right, left, and then that same foot goes right back, which makes me a little crazy, but that's okay. Um, over the top is fun. So over, two, three, four, and back, two, three, four. Okay? So your left foot is gonna be tapping down and then going right back to the step. So a lot of times you'll see these, and you'll go forward and around, walk forward and around for four, three, two, one. So we did that yesterday with the switch curl. Um, let's try that again. 
So we'll go over the top and back a couple times, then we'll go over the top, and once we're on the front of the step, we'll walk forward and around for four counts. So let's go over the top, over, two, and back, back, two, three, four, again, over, and back. Good, now over the top, walk forward and around for four, three, two, one, and boom. All right, great job. So, so let's try um, an L step. So your L step is basically an upside down L, capital L, up, over, and back. Capital L, upside down. <laughs> so you can do it by just stepping up, and if you're totally just starting with step, just do it with this, um, with a step instead of the knees. Once you get that down, up, off the side, up, off the back, up, off the side, up, off the back. Then you can go knee, 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 and step back, knee, knee, knee. Step back, so you're just going up, off the side, up and back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Knee, knee, knee. Step back or just step up, step off the side, step up, step off the back. There's your L step. Okay, um, there's your L step. Um, let's go for a turn hesitation. So we um, did the turn step last video where you're just going, it's kind of like a V step. That's kind of the base of it. Out, out, in, in. So your basic turn step is that turn is that B step with the tap, okay? And you're kind of starting to angle yourself towards that opposite diagonal corner, okay? So basic turn step is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Okay, so your turn hesitation is gonna be a little bit different. So you're gonna go the same starting foot placement, right, left, right comes down. Your left, instead of tapping down, you just lift it off the step and put it right back down on the step and then go back, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's that, also that little rock back. I like this um, step a whole lot better than just the turn step because um, it keeps you in that walking rhythm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same foot, right, left, and again. So all that non-lead foot does is just lift and lower. Okay, I'll try that one with you. Right here. Okay, so let's do turn step, basic turn first. So there's our turn. Okay, right, left, tap down. Left, right, tap down. Okay, now let's make it a turn hesitate right here. So lift and lower and push it back. Right foot again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's your hesitation. That left foot is hesitating. And then it decides not to go to the floor. And that's your turn, hesitate, okay? So let's go into practice, that one's super fun. Um, okay, so another step I like to break down for people outside of class is a diagonal walk because it puts you out across the step on the other side of the step and then you end up facing the back of the room and then chaos ensues. So let's just say we're doing a basic right, kind of on a diagonal slant here. Okay, so we're going up, up, down, down, you know, fine, we can do this all day long, but if we go somewhere with it, it'll be even more fun. So we're going to take our same foot pattern up across the step towards our top diagonal out onto the floor, then we've got to pivot. Okay, so up, down, pivot, turn, same foot, right, left, right, left, right pivot. Okay, so when you do your diagonal walk, just keep stepping forward with your right foot. When you go to pivot, turn away from it, okay? So here's our basic. Let's do two more basics. Up, up, down, down, right lead, right basic. All right, right diagonal walk. 
right, right, right turn left, right takes you back, right, right, right turn left, right takes you back. Okay, uh, let's try it facing the same way, okay? So let's do our basic for two, okay? So we've got up, up, down, down. Okay, let's go diagonal, right, right, turn the other way and back. Okay, cross diagonal, pivot away. There's your diagonal walk, pivot away to go back. Pivot away to go back. All right, yes, yeah, so that's a good one um, to practice for sure. Two more steps to show you. Um, taps around the world is a super fun step, um, but it can be so confusing. It took me at, like several classes to understand what in the world was going on. All it's based on is some toe taps from a standing position. So toe taps up are just this. You'll see them in, in like a warm up or a cool down. And this is different than our taps up. Okay, this isn't a tap up. This is just a, a toe tap up. Like, so we're staying, we're not fully coming up onto the step. We're just going tap, tap. So we've got four of these. To take them around the world, you tap step forward, other foot taps, steps forward to meet the lead foot. To go back, tap, step back, tap, step back. You're doing a big circle again. Still circling the opposite way of that lead hip, so that should help. So you've got four, three, two, one, or around the world. Tap, step forward, tap, step forward, tap, step back, tap, step back. Okay, same four taps around the world. Four, three, two, one, or facing front. Okay, around the world, try it here. Tap step forward, tap step forward, tap step back, or face front for four. Three, two, try around the world. Three, and hold it here. Good, so it's gonna feel funny because it always feels funny to go to the front side of the step instead of back where it feels more natural, but you are fully taking your whole self around. Let's try it um, together facing the same way. So we've got our four taps, four regular taps, four, three, two taps around the world. So tap, step forward, tap, step forward, tap, step back, tap, step back. Now let's do four facing front around the world. Here we go. Tap, step over, tap, step over, tap, step back, tap, step back. Let's do one more time, don't be dizzy. You can always just keep your uh, four taps facing front if that is the call and you're not comfortable doing it. The music speeds too, too fast or whatever. Um, so that's a, that's a super fun one, that's taps around the world. So last move I want to break down because it can be a little bit uh, confusing, especially in um, a class where you're mirroring the instructor is a knee straddle around the world. So it is based on just our single knees, corner to corner, okay? So once we have this down, we should be in our little walking rhythm. We're gonna take it around the world with straddle. Knee, here's our straddle. Down and then step over. Again, this is one you've gotta kind of get used to how it feels because number, really feels natural a step to the other side. Then we're gonna take our lead foot back, do that same knee on this side, turn towards the step, and do the same thing to get us home, okay? A so, couple of things I see kind of trip people up is um, turning away from the step. You wanna to turn towards the step. So knee, straddle, straddle, knee, towards the step, same foot starts it on this side as that side. Knee, straddle, straddle, step, knee, turn to the step. Knee, straddle, straddle, step, knee, turn to the step, then boom. Okay, try it on this side. Let's so knee, left knee up, straddle, straddle, turn to the step, okay? Knee, straddle, straddle, turn towards the step. Let's keep going with it. So left knee comes up, right knee comes up. Left knee comes up, Right knee comes up, do it again. So your right foot's leading, that's why the left knee keeps coming up. Again, left knee up, and right. One last time. Knee, straddle, straddle, step, knee, turn towards the step. Okay, 
that should kind of give you something to practice because um, that one can be super tricky um, if you're in even a beginner class if you're new to step when the around the world stuff starts happening because like I said you're turning away from the instructor um, but do you know you can always um, in class you can just hold your single knees or your single toe taps and watch people go around so you can kind of feel out how the people face in the same direction um, as you are going. Um, but hopefully this will give you a chance to practice some of these um, steps that you'll see in some of our combos. Uh, so for the next video, I would love to post kind of a beginner workout using some of these steps from this video and the last one. So feel free to give me feedback. I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, I know it is a really crazy hard time. So just trying to stay positive and, and I hope that um, you're able to as well. All right, thanks for checking this out.